All right, so today we are going to talk about another great WPF layout control, and that is the canvas. Um, if you are familiar with WinForms, how to design your form, your layout, you'll feel right at home. Uh, it's very similar. We're not going to use a lot of XAML. A lot of times we'd be using toolbox and properties, but um, just need to add the canvas here in um, our window and the rest will be uh, pretty much using the controls on the left hand side and right hand side of the Visual Studio. And Visual Studio will do the XAML part for us. So. Uh, so I added the canvas here. Let me minimize this window and uh, enlarge our form. Okay. So to start off, I'm going to create a simple form. I'm going to drag like we did in WinForms and drag and drop. Um, few items from here. So I'm going to use a label. Resize this and give this a um, background color. All right, so drag the item from toolbox, drop on the surface, and then properties. See, the properties section is divided into, is grouped into several items and it's beautifully designed so the background I mean, we could search here but uh, if you don't know where it is but since i know i can go to brushes select my background which is already selected and i'm going to give it a color Let's go with this color here Okay, so that's my label. I'm gonna copy and paste this. Let's make it make it a little larger. All right, copy and paste this a couple of times, and drag and drop. I mean, uh, drag it over to a line now uh, below each other. Okay, uh, next I'm gonna drag and drop few text boxes, so text box right here, and resize this, copy and paste, control C, control V, I think it didn't happen. Let me step back, reselect this, Control C, Control V, now drag it over. Uh, next, I'm gonna grab a um, date picker. I could scroll down to find the date picker here if I can see it, or it's right here, but if you don't wanna scroll down, you can search we in the search box, then grab and drop it. Okay. All right, next I'm gonna need a couple of buttons. Again, copy and paste. Move it over and resize. Okay. Let me select all these child elements and I'd like to change the font size first. Since font size is common to all of them, I can select all of them and change the font size, say to 18. Okay, 
Uh, next, I want to clear the, the, the content of the um, text boxes, text of the text box. And that's going to be inside the comment section, I believe. Or again, if I want, I can just search here text and uh, then remove from here. That takes care of that. And clear my search. And minimize this. Okay, next I'd like to rename my labels. And that's going to be under again common the content. So I'd like to change this to name. The next one I'd like to change it to uh, title and date of birth or DOB for short. Okay. Um, let me rename this to a add button. We're not going to give it any functionality today, but um, just to show you how to use the toolbox and the properties to design a simple form. Okay, to name our buttons, we'll use this field up here, top button, if you need to rename them. If you want to assign a click event, in that case, you're going to need to name them. So I can say this, uh, I can name this as button clear. And oops. That wasn't the intention. I lost Darius. All right. All right, so let's rename this button again. Button add. Okay, so our form is ready to go. Let's um, reposition this. And run, build and run. So our form is ready in just a couple minutes. Okay. I think we changed the font size here. And our date picker works great. Well, we don't have any function to the buttons, but um, that's not going to be in the scope of this demo. It's just to show you how we can work with the canvas. Um, let's go ahead and add a list box also and resize it. Let's add a couple items, dummy items. Go to properties, go to our collection, and add list box items. Add, let's change this to item one, the content of this. Um, let's add another one. And change the content to item two. Okay, so we have our list box again, all with drag and drop from the toolbox onto the design surface. Um, let me let me get a couple of ellipses as well. There's something I'd like to show you with this. Zindex. So in this case, we will have two ellipses. Let's 
So we do this in this spot right here. Determine the color of the uh, second one. Okay, so the last one that we add, it's if they're intersecting, the last one sits on top of the first one. If for any reason you like to change the order, or say you want the red to sit on top of the green one, in that case, we're going to need to go to layout properties and change the Z index. So it's zero. If we change this to a one, then we'll force the red to be the topmost element rather than the green. Okay, so that's something uh, to keep in mind. Uh, in certain scenarios, you may need it. It's there, available. Okay. Um, the last thing I want to touch on, I'm going to increase the uh, size of my XAML window. So, drag and drop is not the only way you can do it with we still can use XAML. Uh, if we want to do with XAML, let's give an, let's do an example with XAML. Say I want to try uh, place a calendar right in the left bottom corner. In that case, I can add my calendar here. Um, select my calendar, and then I need to set the canvas canvas dot so canvas has a, a property wise I mean as far as the alignment we have four properties bottom left right and top so in this case I want this to be aligned to the left and the bottom so I'm going to use bottom I mean canvas dot left and set this to zero and canvas dot bottom zero also. And actually, let me remove this and first just close this out and see why by default it places top most corner. And again, if I want to move this to um, the bottom corner, I, I'm going to set this canvas bottom to zero, and then we'll have the calendar placed in the bottom left corner. Mm, so basically, as you place your items, you'll set the if you want to do using XAML, you'll use the bottom left and all those directional properties. Uh, let's do another example with text block. Let's say I want to place this somewhere here. So I know the window height is 450. So it's going to be somewhere 225 or let's do 200. Let's do canvas um, top 200 and canvas left. Let's do 10 and close this out. And we don't have a text, it's not visible right now, it's just tiny because we don't have a text in there. So if I set the text property to text block, then we'll see the text block show up at the location we want it. All right, so basically that's um, it for the canvas. Um, Let's run this one last time. So we have our calendar, our ellipses, buttons, and our forms with our list box. So we can quickly design our form within minutes using the canvas by just drag and dropping the items. All right, so that's it for now. Until next time. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye-bye now.